Hey, salut à tous, on se retrouve pour regarder les trois champions les plus broken sur chaque rôle. C'est parti, hey, hey, hey. What's going il y a 11 on game minutes de vidéo. vidéo. On va tout savoir, ça m'intrigue, ça m'intrigue. So, yeah, Donc c'est une vidéo récente. Hein. So, Picks, blind pick them might be risky and I'll probably tell you if it is. If you're playing them for the first time, you're not really going to improve. You're not going to win straight away. So if you want to do that, signing up to the Game Leap website where we All I care about is helping you guys out. That is it. Like if you're going to sign up to something, it's got to help you out. In top lane, we'll start off here, guys. And okay. Let's talk about on, on commence au top avec Atrox. Atrox is in 13-14. If you've watched our recent videos, and make sure you hit the subscribe button, by the way, so you don't miss our future content. Atrox is getting buffed. So as far as your actual damage to minions go, this is going to improve throughout a game. Yes, you're losing a little bit of base damage in your Q when you actually max this out at level 9, rank 5. But guess what? You're getting more AD ratio in this. So the more AD okay, you have, the more buff. damage this is going to deal. Atrox en vrai c'est pas mal mais ça c'est dur à jouer quand même way better this means for like really good atrox players who can land the sweet spot of their cues as well this is going to be huge and i think atrox might even be back in pro play picked and banned because of these but of course you do have to be able to play the champion so again checking out the website and all our atrox guides you will be smurfing in no time now number two this is jack and i said Jax? this and kind of like en vrai jack ouais c'est c'est chiant talk about jack's every patch and he's getting nerfed in 13 14 this is a funny thing this champion is getting nerfed but he's still going to be busted his ease <laughs> cooldown is going up to 15 seconds to 9 okay. seconds so scaling down so pretty much just an extra one second cooldown on his counter strike big deal whoopty do who cares about that bro like it's still going to be five seconds late game it's ridiculous for an ability that blocks like well most things and stuns someone like that's the nerf they came up i mean they also made your ultimate cost 100 mana and no longer 50 but that's how it was so these changes are so placebo c'est vrai que jack en vrai ça a l'air tellement chiant because she is completely untouched et c'est fini c'est fini I should also mention here, by en vrai, c'est des, des, des ultra carry à chaque fois qu'ils donnent. Chiro, ça m'étonne pas non plus. Ce serait peut-être attendu, mais c'est vrai que des champions comme Seth ou Darius, c'est plus trop ça. Hein. Quand c'est bien joué, oui, ça reste fort, mais là, c'est différent. Après, il a feed, non Niveau 14, il doit être feed. So this is going to be even better for AD Shaco. And with Strybreaker, I think he's so busted anyway. And maybe Infinity Edge gives him another viable build option. Now, number two, a champion who, well, you were going crit before. C'est bizarre, hein. Je m'y attendais pas du tout du Ringar. Il a été un peu nerf. Mais champion reste fort. Donc 
from the Trinity Force changes because they just look like buffs. Bah, pourquoi il nous montre un, un clip où il n'y a pas Kindred Frérot, on s'en fout de ton fight de V2 là. Really sort of like so yeah, Kindred est toujours le numéro 1, despite getting nerfed on the actual change list. Now moving into the mid lane here. Some interesting champions, okay. two of these are getting buffed. Xerath, je vais péter partout de toute façon ça. Xerath. Now for Xerath, Ryan Vraiment. is trying to encourage you to play mid lane more because your passive is going to Quoi? be refunded when you last hit minions. This is amazing. This is going to give you more mana, of course, because that's what your passive is during the laning phase. And what they're also doing is giving you an extra ultimate cast. So at level 6, you'll have 4. At level 11, 5. And at level 16, you'll have 6. This is a lot. Now they are reducing the damage because you are getting more of them. But guess what? Because you're landing more of them, you will be dealing more damage. This is going to be amazing for Xerath players. Your base man is going down though just because of these changes. But man, when you get to Lost Chapter, bro, like I think this champ's going to be great. I would just highly recommend using him as a counter pick. If you blind pick him, there are lots of assassins out there that can really screw you over. So counter pick okay, okay, on a piece of stuff, you know, like short range kind of mages or even just control mages, you can destroy them. Number two, speaking of a champion who Xerath would be playing against, okay. this is Lissandra. Lissandra is getting some really big Ça buffs, guys, pas trop. 13, 14, so you're You're going to be slowing everything it hits. Also, your ultimate, the heal is going up, and there are lots of quality of life changes as well, where it will operate in fog. So if someone goes into fog, it will still chase them and stuff. There are so many things here. Again, check out like our 13, 14 changes video where we detail all of them. But Lissandra... Le kit de Lissandra, il est assez complet. Hein. Tu as de l'escape, du CC. Tu as de la tempo avec son air. Tu peux lock CC. Tu as en vrai des dégâts. Tu n'as pas tant que ça, mais quand tu es fit, tu es bien. Mais attends, on quand même. Et en vrai, euh, je comprends. Après, c'est avec la méta et tout, euh, évidemment. Mais je comprends que le champion il puisse être méta, en fait. Genre, il va être fort en CC, il va avoir un peu de DPS. Number one though is Nico. Just all around great mid laner. She's still gonna be, I think, the best mid laner in the game, like she is right now. S plus tier, highest win rates in like every single elo. So keep picking Nico. Guys. Okay, Moving Nico. Down to the bot lane here. Now two of these AD carries are based on Trinity Force. But bizarre qu'ils savent, c'est vraiment bizarre. Static shift. Now static shift, guys, you are losing a little bit of the electric shock damage. But for Kaisa, even with this, I still don't think it's gonna make her well that worse off. I still think she's an amazing champion in the meta at the moment because it's so engagey at the moment in the bot lane. So getting your passive stack stacked and then triggering them with an auto attack i think it's very easy to do and i think with static shiv and the nash's tooth i think it's a really broken setup you can evolve your w and your e very quickly in games and yeah just because of the engaged meta giving you extra passive stacks and damage therefore i think she's a very good ad carry to pick but blind picking her is very risky there are lots of champions out there that do well into you ah ouais? so you really want to be picking kaisa when you know the lane so if you see something like maybe a gin or Moi, an an que tu peux blind pick justement assez facilement même si t'es derrière genre dans ta lane tu pourras dans tous les cas toujours remonter quoi. Ah ouais Trinity Force Draven guys. Now Draven. Infinity Edge is getting buffed as far as crit goes. So on Draven you might be interested in going something like Essence Ring. Ah c'est vrai que tous les les champions assassins ont été buffed tout ce qui est l'état. Donc ouais Draven ça m'étonne pas. En vrai il a toujours été fort. It does so well on Draven. You hit like an absolute truck. But he's number two. And by the way guys if there are any mains of these champions out there Let me know about some of this technology and what you think's going to happen next patch when it drops. Now, number one, the best AD carry. Ash! She's the best blind pick AD no. carry by far. And she no, 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 no. a really good counter pick. This is Ash. Unreal. With Trinity Force, all the recent buffs to her passive, to her W's damage. No, 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 no. All around pick. And if you're not playing her, I think you'll miss en fait, her trick and kind of. En lane, ouais. Mais derrière, après, t'as pas des dégâts qu'un ADC a. Hein. De trop, t'as vraiment pas les dégâts en teamfight ou quoi. Si tu te sers bien de ton air, ça peut, ça peut faire des catch. T'as pas les teamfight avec H. Ok, tu, tu fais chier un peu ta lane en vrai. Mais c'est pas ça. Ok, Rakan, je suis pas trop d'accord pour H. En fait, qu'il soit sur le podium, bon. Mais en vrai, c'est. Je sais pas, il y a Ytrial. Ytrial, c'est pas mal, hein. Rakan, literally in any game, the champion can peel, he can engage, and because of all the buffs in season 13, man, he's got to be in this video. Number bon, two, Rakan, champion who's actually ouais. getting nerfed in 13-14. So Pharrell, your base armor Pharrell. is going down, meaning you are squishier, right? There is going to be a bit more of a loss. Elle a été refait, elle, je sais plus ce qui a été refait. Also, you're losing resistances through your passive as well, so you won't be as tanky elle. as the ouais, fight progress. So this means you're going to be more killable. The best thing though about Rel, despite these changes, is you're holding on to all the CC and the stuff that really makes 
makes you rel. I mean, even if you play rel, I don't even know if you kind of like notice your passive. So this getting nerfed, I don't think it's going to be the biggest deal in the world. And I still think she'll be a top tier support, if not the best. But the best, well, according to my forecast anyway, cool. is a champion who does amazing well that? into both rel and Rakan and lots of kind of like telegraphed engaged champions. So I just mean like something that doesn't have an insta hook, like a pike or a blitzcrank, for instance, right? This is Janna. So if you're playing rel or Rakan or Leona, all of these are meta, right? Even Alistair is pretty good at the moment. And you see a Janna on the enemy team. Bro, just FF. Like, seriously, you're going to start banning this champion if you main them. Because if you see Janna, you can never engage onto her. And even if you manage to, like, get through her Q, somehow, some way, she has her ultimate to completely disengage the fight. And it's really like annoying. Like, when you see the dash, I think, in there, right? And one-shot people. So I think Janna, and the recent buffs to Janna as well, I think she's a great champion. I think you have to have her just be a little bit careful of my game with Janna. Because, you know, ranged champions, even something like Senna can do very well, right? Or a hook champion, like I mentioned. Pike not the same Janna. A little bit risky to blind pick, but I think she is, statistically as well, the best support right now and she will be in 13 14 so those were the three most broken champions guys for each role for the next patch let us know down below your thoughts on the list and thank you so much for watching the video i will see you on our next season je suis assez surpris en vrai hein. je suis assez surpris pas pour le, le top en vrai en vrai il y a que les, les trucs que, que je connais pas en vrai parce que bot support bon oui il y en a ok ça c'était évident la draven bon c'est euh, discutable la hache je suis un peu moins d'accord je sais que c'est fort tu vois mais Ezreal, je pense, c'est plus fort, non Je sais pas. Pour toute la game, quoi. Parce qu'en lane, c'est vrai que H, c'est très fort. Sinon, support, euh, ok. Mais c'est juste que faudra montrer une Jana qui sait jouer, peut-être. Ça pourrait m'aider à changer un petit peu mon avis là-dessus, quoi.